Mackie sent me these monitors for free, but they didn't ask anything of me in return. They didn't even ask me to make this video, this review. Here we go. For the last couple years, I've been using these awesome PreSonus studio monitors. So we'll get the Mackie ones out, do a side-by-side -side comparison and a little sound check and see what we like better. Okay, let's open them up. Mackie CR 3.5. The Bluetooth kind of monitors, all the cables, the studio, critiquing songs we wrote, party all night, all night, plugging them in just right, creative reference, the subject, the difference, ta-da, Mac the Mackie CR 3.5s, and this is the Bluetooth version. The Bluetooth and these are the cables it comes with regular stereo cables where you like you like pinch them in the power cable and an eighth inch to a left and right on the back of the powered speaker is where the on switch is and then above that is some of these other switches there's desktop bookshelf Mine's actually on the desktop, so I'll leave that. And then powered speaker position. Mine is gonna be on the left, so I'll switch that to left. I was a little confused by this location switch, the desktop versus bookshelf option. I toggled between the two and couldn't really hear a difference myself. Uh, I wonder what the literature says about it. Flip the location switch between desktop speaker mode and bookshelf speaker mode to optimize the CR monitors for wherever you place them. Use desktop mode for listening up close, like in a studio, and a bookshelf mode for listening in a distance. I still am not quite sure what the switches are doing. It's great that they can be optimized for listening up close or far away, but, but what is the switch doing to the sound? Is it reducing the bass? Is it pumping the mids? Is it giving it more compression? On the front of the powered speaker, we have this volume knob. When you click it on, the indicator light comes on there. And then it has this knob that says work, play. I have no idea what that means. What does it say that it does? Your work plus play speakers shape your sound, adjust your location, and connect to anything with CR. You can mix a podcast, listen to music, and a DJ a house party all with the same set of speakers. But it doesn't really say what that knob is doing to the sound. A little thing. Work mode. Little thing. Play mode. Imagine a song, you can sing it by heart. You know every note and particular. A little more mids part. in the play mode. Songs are made of pitches, the rhythm sounds Maybe and more bass. time. Create a piece of music when the pieces align. This diagram says tone control. What does it say underneath that sticker? Aha! Tone knob! This was really confusing. They sound good. They sound like awesome little studio monitors. Overall, they're super duper similar to the PreSonus ones that I that I got in 2017. I have plugged both my old PreSonus and the new Mackies in at the exact same time and we'll do an A-B sound test. I set the tone knob on the Mackie to center, which is neutral. And the PreSonus actually has two tone knobs, so I'm gonna set both of those to zero as well. Trying to set some control variables for this experiment. Here's the Mackie. I washed a pen inside my pocket twice this month. I bit my lip where I went down it once. I like to fix all these mistakes mistaken me when they keep on listening for their stereo. All right, now let's test the personas. They're really hard to compare sound-wise. They sound very, very similar. Now I want to take a look at the back of these two, inputs and outputs and controls. So here we're looking at the Personas on the left and the Mackie on the right. The back of the Mackie has the, the location switch, the left-right switch, stereo quarter-inch inputs on the top, and RCA input. Just about the same thing on the Personas. Quarter inch inputs, here's the CRA input. The Personas has some acoustic tuning too, but instead of 
one knob, it's got these two knobs to affect the highs and the lows. I do like how the Personas has the high and low tone knob instead of just the single Mackie knob that is here on the front. You're adjusting the highs and lows simultaneously so you're really not sure what the mix is. Even labeling the location switch desktop versus bookshelf, it's not immediately clear to me what those are controlling. But for others, maybe that makes them easier to use. Might be a personal preference thing. Now let's compare these two based on their features and their pricing. My Personas ones are the 2017 version, which is the first generation, and they've come up with a second generation. So for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna compare the stats to the second gen that also came out this year. Oh, check it out. They're both the same price. In a cage match between the Personas and the Mackie, they both came out in 2024. Their basic version is 99 bucks. They're the same size. They're the same wattage, which is 50 watts. They both come with Bluetooth options that just cost a little more. However, when you make the Personas Bluetooth, it bumps it up to 150 bucks. And the Mackie Bluetooth version is only 130, 20 bucks cheaper. And if you really want to go big, both models go bigger and bigger and bigger. My final thoughts, they're really not that different. They've got a couple minor differences, but um, for small studio monitors, the truth is they're both great. They've got the same inputs and outputs. Their prices are comparable. One of the biggest differences I touched on is I prefer that the Personas gives specific knobs for specific functions, and I don't have to guess what those functions do. In reference to the tone, it has two tone knobs on the back so that I know if I'm affecting the highs or the lows. But the Mackie just had this one work play knob on the front and I didn't really know what that meant. It must be adjusting the highs and lows simultaneously, but I don't really have the ability to affect one without affecting the other. They both sound great. So if you're buying right now, 50 watts is kind of what you're looking at. I'll have affiliate links for both of these monitors down below in the description. And let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite studio monitor? Or you can just help me with engagement on this video and let me know your go-to coffee order. Thank you, thank you so much to my patrons that support me, my music, this this YouTube channel every single month. They get special behind the scenes vlogs of my music career and some unreleased downloads. And if you wanna see more of my gear or how I've concro- <laughs> I have a full on studio tour right here where I show you how I've crafted my Twitch studio. Twitch slash YouTube slash TikTok and Instagram and blah, blah, blah. Cleo. <laughs> Cleo.